Good morning, Monday. It is a low carb day and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I plan on getting through a low carb Monday, two weeks out from my show. Low carb days are inevitably gonna be part of your prep or your shred if you're doing the 21 day shred challenge. There are some tricks of the trade I've learned over the years that to make these low carb days bearable. They're still gonna suck, but I'm gonna show you today how I make my carbs stretch out, making sure I get enough fiber, really making the most of my macros. There are a couple things I suggest you guys getting if you are gonna be going low carb. Courtney's not one of them. She comes in handy though. Um, okay, so I've been eating steel cut oats or coaches oats here, I love them. They're super chewy, but they have three grams, so per serving, 40, 40 grams dry on that. Um, they have three grams of fat. One thing on low carb days, you really want to make your fats last, meaning I want foods that if they have just carbs, um, I want to use those and then I want to use my fats to enhance things to really, um, I guess, really use fats for flavor and also to get foods that have, you know, so just foods that have fats, foods that have carbs. So instead of the coach's oats, which are pretty much just like any thing of oatmeal, um, they have 27 grams carbs. I'm using cream of wheat. Now the reason I like cream of wheat um, is it's pretty much just a carb source. There are four grams of protein in there, but 24 grams carbs. So three grams lower carbs, and it actually fluffs when you cook it. So for the volume, like in your stomach, and when I'm eating it, it feels like so much more. So cream of wheat on a low carb day, lower carb, more volume, no fat in there. Also, snack packs. These jello snack packs, this one is only five calories, one gram of protein, no carbs in this at all. Um, one thing you probably wanna watch out for is some artificial flavorings on low carb days because you use things that have low sugar, no sugar, so a lot of times there's artificial sweeteners. But um, that being said, what I do is I try to limit my artificial sweeteners in the form of my BCAs. So I'm taking BCAs throughout the day. This one is unflavored. So the optimum flavored pro BCAs do have carbs in there. It's like two carbs per serving. Generally, I would not care, but when I only have 150 grams total for the day, I have to make every little thing count. Also, this one's obviously not flavored. No artificial sweeteners in there or anything like that. Um, next thing, shirataki noodles. I first encountered these about four years ago, made from insoluble plant fiber, I think from sweet potatoes. Um, so super, super low. They're actually zero calories. Um, you can, you boil them. They kind of have a weird smell, not gonna lie, but they have like a noodle, like almost like a kelp noodle. You can mix those with salads. You can make them with like almost like a pasta. I heat them up, obviously boil them, drain them, and then mix them up with like some, some steak or something. So those are super filling as well. Also, my veggies will go up quite a bit. I'll be eating more lettuce. Um, I'll be eating more spinach, um, peppers, tomatoes, things like that. Salads, pretty much. My salads will be bigger because I want more volume on my stomach so I'm not hungry. Also, I'm looking at fiber. I'm trying to hit at least 35 grams of fiber today to make sure I'm full. Um, last but not least, sparkling water. Now, I, I'm not saying I drink only sparkling water on these days, but I try to get at least one of these in because sparkling water, just that bubbly, to me, it keeps me full. It helps me, it helps me just feel like I'm, I'm getting something in my stomach, even though it's just carbonated water and who knows if that's just the placebo or not. But um, also, I do like my puffed Kamut cereal. I'll be eating these with a pistachio protein ice cream later on today. So as a way, it actually takes like, tastes like an ice cream cone. So this stuff in there, you know, when you get down to the bottom of the ice cream cone and it's the ice cream mixed with the cone, that's what that tastes like to me. Maybe it's the low carb talking, but I think it tastes great. So that's kind of what you wanna make sure you have on low carb days. Um, also spaghetti squash. I need to pick up one of those because I will be eating spaghetti squash. Super tasty, you can use it as pasta again. We're gonna try to have some spaghetti squash today too. So 150 grams, here we go. At the gym, it's 10, 17 in the morning. So another tip, wake up 
a little bit later. Um, I woke up at about eight today. Um, I got some. I've had protein, a protein shake in me, and that is it. So usually when I wake up in the morning, I can go a coffee and a protein shake, um, and that'll kind of get me through the first couple hours. Especially when I'm low carb, like today, 150 grams carbs. I want to try to really only eat when I'm hungry or pre and post workout. So I'm just gonna be doing some cardio now. So really. I haven't had any carbs except for my greens. I had a half scoop of greens powder, which was two grams carbs. Um, I did have my BCAAs and I had some protein. Um, and on that note, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna knock out 30 minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna probably eat breakfast around 11. So that'll be really my first first thing of carbs. Now you might, you may or may not agree with this. For me it works only because I, I would rather be like hungrier in the morning than at night. Like I haven't really been hungry this morning. I know I start getting hungry at night. So if I can save 20 carbs for eight o'clock at night versus wake up and eat 30 grams of carbs right off the bat, I'm gonna save those carbs for later in the day. Whew. Low carb day lunch here. We like prepping on rice, don't we, Court? Love it. We like prepping on rice. I love rice. I love rice. I'd much rather have rice than sweet potatoes. I think the macros are better on rice. This rice happens to be my favorite. This is coconut rice um, from Archer Farms. And the reason I like it for um, a half packet, which comes out to be almost a cup, it's only 32 grams of fat. The downside of this, it does have 3.5 grams of fat. Um, and this is my pre-workout meal. Um, I won't be adding any other fat to it. So I had it with tilapia. Tilapia and some greens, lots of greens today that I do count. So there's about five grams of greens in here. Um, I'm on my computer looking at old, like 1970s style houses in cool areas of Phoenix that I can maybe flip. I don't know the first thing about doing that. I just think it could be a cool idea if there's someone you know in the Phoenix area or someone you know on HGTV that wants to come flip a cool house, like an acre lot, because I want to have chickens and shiz. What do you think about that? Chicken. Yeah, we want chickens. We get eggs every day. It would be cool chicken. to get your chickens from your eggs and then have, just have like a little garden area that you grew some things. I'm turning into my parents. Oh my gosh. I think it would be cool. Go to the gym, come home, be self sustained. Stop at Whole Foods when you need to to have them prepare your fish and then be good to go. No, I think you should just get a pond out back. No. Just I'm not going to gut fish. As a kid, I'd catch fish. Fish, I hated gutting them. So. Not gonna work. I'd much rather just pay somebody at Whole Foods to cook it for me. Say what you want about it. Um, anyhow, so I got six ounces of fish in here from Whole Foods, and I got my rice, and I will be having probably one rice cake, which is six grams carbs, um, before I go work out, and I'll be putting some Walden Farms jelly on there. Zero calorie. All right, my uh, pre-workout. Getting some, some. I'm not even doing amino energy for this one. Um, I'm doing just. I did a caffeine pill and some BCAs. Really though, on my low carb days, the best thing you can have is a good workout partner. Luckily, mine's back in town. Sunny, say what's up. Hello. There she is. That's my workout partner. No, Vanilla Gorilla. You and Sunny are about to. And Mrs. Mrs. Vanilla Gorilla, um, just moved into town. Official. Official. Here from Salt Lake, we're we're here now. I'm here. He's here. We are here until we find a gym and make shit happen. So it's about to go down. Scottsdale, maybe, maybe Scottsdale. Brutal, brutal session. So this is why I'm so excited for these guys to be here. I've had good workouts the last two weeks. These guys come down and we finish off with just some crazy cardio, like cool stuff though, athletic stuff. So we did. Oh, first time I've done cardio in a month, man. You made me do it. Well, this guy, how much you weighing right now? Uh, I'm like 240. He's like 240, like 7% body fat. It's disgusting. You guys just a tank. But we did 300 meter rows, minute on. And then we did some, some uh, sit up shit, some glute hamstring sit ups. And then we did burpees. It's like this little Metcon, a little CrossFit session. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I got some heat from the CrossFit community. I love everyone. Here's the thing. If it's making you more fit, if it's getting you in the gym, I'm all about it. This is Sunny. This is Miss Vanilla Gorilla. I told you guys earlier. Um, the crazy thing about Sunny is she squat more than you guys. Real talk, she would squat more than you. Um, but I'm going to be taking off for the Arnold in Hawaii. 
Jake's gonna be wrapping up the gym stuff down here. If we can find something. Pickering, you know where you're at. I will find you. Find us a place. Post workout. Sorry I didn't film more of the workout. Um, just trying to get through it. Hanging out with a big dog. Post workout though. When I need a little pick me up, low carb day, I love my popcorn. For this, for one bag, one whole bag, 23 grams carbs, 3 grams protein, 1.5 grams fat. So I like to keep my post workout meal low in fat. I also am getting some HydroWay. I'm gonna do that with the almond milk and make it into a protein ice cream dish and actually put the popcorn in the protein ice cream. It is amazing. Um, that'll be 33 grams of protein, only 24 grams carbohydrate because there one, is one carb. Um, actually, there's three carbs in this one. One carb in the chocolate, but I still want the chocolate mint. Um, so roughly 26 grams carbs and only 2.5 grams fat. Key to hold on to those fats because late at night when we cook up this bad boy, uh, I want to put a whole egg in there. For some reason, I love a whole egg mixing with the spaghetti squash. Makes it all yummy. Um, so, I don't count my meals. I just hit my macros and I eat when I'm hungry. So today, again, I woke up, went a while without my first meal. Had the protein shake, but went a while without my first meal. I'll probably start backing off protein shakes because I like, you know, I do like whole foods, but if I'm making protein ice cream with it, I still feel like I'm eating and not drinking. So I rarely ever drink my protein anymore. Um, protein ice cream, I probably have at least one a day. And I might back that off like three days prior, uh, but I might not, we'll see how it goes. My body doesn't really, I'm pretty good for the most part if it's a high quality protein, like a Hydro Whey, um, I don't get bloated or anything on it, like some competitors say they do. Um, what else we got here? Oh, salad dressing, so later on tonight, maybe with this spaghetti squash, I'll make a little steak salad or something. The coconut aminos with mustard and a little bit of stevia. That's the secret recipe for a zero calorie dressing, five calorie dressing if you count the mustard. But the coconut aminos, um, I guess there's five calories in this too. One gram of carbs is four calories. There's five calories in this, so there's one gram of carb. Um, that'll be the dressing. So a 10 cal dressing that pretty much makes things taste like heaven. So. That is gonna be on my my uh, menu tonight. Do this, I'm gonna watch a show on Netflix. Getting ready to leave for the Arnold. Come on, popcorn. The key to popcorn is you don't wanna overcook it and burn it. So when those pops start slowing down to less than two seconds or more than two seconds between pops, then it's done. out right now perfect all right we have the popcorn here you're not gonna ever pop 100% of the kernels but oh that smells amazing nice and then honestly don't judge me don't judge me but what I do is I take the butter spray, and I know this stuff isn't great for you, but it's not a whole lot, I don't do it all the time, and I just spray in there a little bit, and I mix up the popcorn, and then I take my cinnamon, sprinkle some cinnamon on top, I take a little bit of the cocoa, I'm in love with the cocoa, the stevia, and I sprinkle the stevia on top, just like that, mix it around a little bit. And then actually the key is a little bit of salt. I'm not worried about sodium. I get all plenty of water, so don't worry there. But salt, butter flavored spray, cinnamon, and stevia for the perfect low carb popcorn. That's not bad right there for 23 grams. I'm gonna make that ice cream and I'm gonna go, yep, oh, it's so good. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm like a iguana, no, a chameleon. You see how fast that was? Um, Courtney's BPI stuff in the back. Guys, 
I'm just gonna do this right here. I'm trying to get her signed with Optimum. It'd be so much nicer for traveling. Anyhow, I'm gonna make, actually I need that. I'm gonna make some protein ice cream. And I have a date night with myself because they are, Courtney and her roommate are out shopping at Sephora, getting stuff ready because she's got like this show she's doing, the Arnold. She's looking lean and mean. This is what I do between meals. Now on low carb days, it's important that you save the fats in your diet, that you don't use up all your fat. So it might mean, again, switching up oatmeal to cream of wheat, eating more fish that day, because what you have are pistachios. Pistachios are a, a great source of good fats. B, they're the lowest calorie nut per serving. C, they're shelled and they're salted. So, if you eat almonds, they're not shelled. You eat them, you chew them, they're kind of pine. Pistachios, the salted ones, kind of like sunflower seeds. I'm sitting on the couch, watching Netflix, in here, in my hand, and in the bowl, I have roughly seven grams of fat that I have saved up. But it'll take me so much longer to shell these in my mouth, to deshell, and to eat them. And what eating slowly does, how many of you guys have ever eaten something and you're actually hungrier afterwards. Typically on a diet, you eat way too fast. This causes you to slow down, eat things slower, sending that signal to your brain that you're fuller. Now, if I just pounded through all these, I'd have 10 minutes of sitting here, still hungry, wanting to search around and eat something. Doing them slow, giving my mind something to do, I get all psychological on my prep. And I, I watch something, I enjoy it. I love pistachios, they love me. And that's all because I've saved up enough fats and I still have a couple carbs left because there are carbs in this and I still have my, my spaghetti squash meal later on. So it's another tip. Switch in pistachios for almonds, but make them the shelled ones and only put one in your mouth at a time. That's what she said. And go through them that way. So good. Perfect for watching a movie. Netflix and chill on a rainy Arizona night with with what? What baby? Just because it's like, just like the oh this spaghetti squash. Yeah. Last meal of the night: spaghetti squash with four ounces of chicken and red sauce. Spaghetti squash, two hundred grams cooked there, cooked to perfection by this little Miss King. Um, that's eleven grams of carbs for all of those noodles, and then the red sauce there is about five grams carbs. I'm still under my fats for the day, um, which is okay because yesterday I went over a little bit, but protein I'm pretty much right on. So it is 10 o'clock at night. That, my friends, it. is how we do low carb. You saw my tricks of the trade. I didn't even have to bust out the shirataki noodles. If I go under 150, you know I'm gonna have to bust out those shirataki noodles, those insoluble plant fiber. But. It's usually either that or spaghetti squash. If I have the room, I'm gonna do spaghetti squash. All right, tomorrow's another low carb day for me, and then we refeed. Like this video if you guys wanna see a refeed day and how I do that, because I manipulate my carbs, fats, and protein a little bit on that day. Um, but yeah, hierarchy of things. It, it matters, when you're counting macros, the thing that matters most is calories for the week. Like overall calories and then I'd say macros for the week and then calories for the day and then macros for the day so don't beat yourself up if you have a day where you're not exactly on or if you have way too much fat it's more about the average for the week on calories and macros so that being said happy tracking I wish there was an easier way one day I'm gonna invent like a chip that just goes in your wrist and then just tracks all the food that goes down your throat would be so much easier I don't know if people would really want a chip though inserted into them just so they could track macros though let me know if you think that'd be a good idea